You pack it, you stack it. You bring it, you sling it. You tow it, you stow it. I touch it, I tag it. Hey guys, my name is Jacqueline. I am a corporate flight attendant and welcome to my YouTube channel, Jacqueline Travels. Today is another two minute tidbit video and it's all about why a flight attendant cannot help you lift your luggage when you are flying on a commercial airplane. In the beginning of the video, I said you pack it, you stack it. The theory behind that is if you are packing what you think you need, you should be able to lift it into the overhead bin yourself. Technically, it's not the duty of a flight attendant to lift your suitcase into the overhead bin. And there's a lot of airlines that are actually forbidding flight attendants from doing so. The reason behind that is there are a lot of injuries. Back in the glory days of flying, a flight attendant could work anywhere from one to four, maybe even five flights in a single day. And there are numerous passengers asking for help loading their suitcases into the overhead bins. So potentially a flight attendant could be doing that repetitive motion and lifting heavy objects over their head numerous times every day, which adds up in the weeks, which adds up in the months, and then that adds up in the years. And it puts a lot of strain on a flight attendant's body. I remember when I was a commercial flight attendant, there were so many OJIs or on the job injuries related to flight attendants, like tearing a rotator cuff or pulling a muscle in their neck and really just injuring themselves from lifting these passenger suitcases. So my company sent out a memo straight up saying, do not lift passenger luggage unless they really need assistance. So if someone is physically not able to lift a bag, you can offer assistance. If someone is elderly, of course we would offer assistance. But even before doing so, I would do a lift test. So I would just bend down a little, uh, lift with my legs, not with my back, and just test out how heavy the suitcase was. If I felt like it was something that would not put too much strain on my body, I would gladly lift the bag for my passengers. Now, if I did the lift test and the bag was a little too heavy, I would look for a strong looking gentleman and ask them them for assistance. And I never got pushback from asking anyone to help me load a passenger bag. So of course, as a flight attendant, you never want to say no to a passenger. You don't want to be rude to a passenger. So you can just explain, hey, I can't lift a bag. Maybe say you've had an injury in the past and you don't want to aggravate it. Or there are many female flight attendants who just simply said, I'm pregnant, I can't lift that for you. I used to fly with a girl and the joke was she had been pregnant for five years because she just didn't lift passenger bags. Generally, I went the injury route and that's because I had a true injury. My shoulder is messed up, it's not good for me to lift suitcases over my head all day long. Another reason why an airline would not want its flight attendants lifting bags into the overhead bins is a flight attendant needs to be in tip top shape in case there's a freak situation and you have to evacuate an aircraft. So if you injure yourself during boarding, you're not gonna be at level 100. If the time comes, to open the airplane door and deploy the slides and evacuate 200 passengers in 90 seconds. So truly, flight attendants aren't trying to be rude. We love our jobs, we love the service aspect. Obviously we are in the service industry and we like to make people feel taken care of, but sometimes there are just things that we cannot do. So in the future, if you hear a flight attendant say they can't lift the bag, hopefully this video lets you know why they can't lift the bag. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick two minute tidbit. If you are looking for me on social media, my Twitter is at Jack Travels, that is J-A-C Travels. And if you're looking for me on Twitter, I am Jacqueline Travels, just like I am here on YouTube. Don't forget to leave me a thumbs up for this video and please make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any future flight attendant videos. Thanks for coming by today, guys.